kind of smells weird when, when you sniff in that. Yeah. Oh, it won't? Oh, well, it's just behind the scenes. Then this behind the Okay, hey, it's Joel Weinkup here, and uh, I'm here talking about Austin Janowski's Love Hate. Hi there. My name is Rick Danford. I'm an actor, writer, director, just all around great guy. I play Richard, of course. I'm one of the stars. Hey, everyone. My name is Jason Lathrop. Now, I played the comic book store owner, Jay. Good evening. My name is Austin Janowski. I am the screenwriter, actor, producer of Love Hate the Amazing Life of a comic book artist. Hi, I'm Brian Balance, and uh, I played Stan in Love Hate. Um, I got involved with Austin. Um, I met Austin in like in 1999, I think, and uh, uh, he was at a comic book convention as a guest. I was at a comic book convention as a guest. I think it was Tampa Comic Con, and we met there, became really good friends. Hi, I am Denise McLaughlin, a.k.a. Nana the Red, over all social media. In the film Love Heat, you will see me dressed as the 1966 classic Catwoman, as well as the background shopper just as Space Ghost. I'm Austin McKinley, the director and shooter of Love Hate. Hi, I'm Jim Moore. I play the 66 Surf Batman in Love Hate. Hi, my name is Leanna Kirkland, and I'm an actor, a dancer, a pinup model, and a floor artist. And I play zombie number two in Love Hate, The Amazing Life of a Comic Book Artist. The time I saw him at a Starbucks, I was uh, signing uh, copies of Make Them Die Sleazy for Chris Woods and John Miller. And um, as I was signing those, he walked through the gate there at um, Starbucks and he goes, Hey, it's King of the Bee Movies, Joel Weinkoop. And I go, Hey, it's Austin Janowski, the artist of Iron Man. Not to mention, you know, Marvel, DC, a whole bunch of stuff. But Hi, I'm Rory Smith. I uh, was first AC on Love Hate. Hello, my name is Danielle Piper. I am an author, an artist, a dancer, a voiceover actress, and actress. And I play zombie number three in Love Hate, The Amazing Life of a Comic Book Artist. Hey guys, my name's Kira Howe. Uh, I was the first AD on Love Hate. Hey guys, my name is Evan. My first cosplay, which is Constantine, as an extra in the Love Hate film. And we'd see each other at uh, comic conventions. Like I said, one, one year, I think at Daytona, uh, Kathy and I were here and Austin was right next to us. So it was fun to hang out with him all day because uh, he's a fun guy. Hi, I'm Chris Hover. I played the guy zombie in Love Hate. Hello. My name is Nicole. I play the demon on Love Hate, The Amazing Life of a Comic Book Artist. My name is Rowena Hofer, and I played the featured zombie in the movie Love Hate, The Amazing Life of a Comic Book Artist. Yeah. Okay, gotta take a back minute. Back in action. Oh, we're Sorry, back in AJ. action. Yeah, I'll finish this up really quick. Yeah, you tell me when. Yeah, see, this is how it works. We're on the set. We're on location, getting ready to leave. Anyway, I'll just say this really quick. And then, uh, so Austin Janowski uh, called me up and he goes, I'm looking for a guy to play this part in Love Hate as my uh, producer, my promoter. And I go, oh, cool. And he goes, so, duh. And I went, oh, you want me to do it? And he's like, yeah. Hey, um, so, oh, sorry. <laughs> really? I'm so embarrassed. I wasn't very happy with the setup they gave me over there when we went to shoot. I mean, my trailer didn't exist. Um, you know, and, uh, but you know, hey, you know, as actors, we struggle and we, uh, we handle it and, um, we do the best we can. So got together, uh, with Austin, the whole crew was great. Love, hate was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed the process of being in this film, but what I liked about it the most is that one day I'm going to be able to go to Austin and say, Hey man, do you remember that movie that I helped you with? Well, don't ask any questions, but I need you to help me move a body. What I most liked about working on the film was seeing everybody's costumes. It was kind of like being at a mini Comic Con. It was just a lot of fun. Also, the production crew was top notch and everybody was just really friendly. Uh, probably the best thing about this film was just uh, working with Austin and seeing how he really connected with everyone on set, both cast and crew, and how he really had a drive to make this film and just uh, knew exactly what he wanted to do with it. And it was. Great working with him, really awesome to watch him work. Uh, we had an awesome time, the cast and crew were amazing. We even got to film at a actual comic book shop, uh, Emerald City Comics, big shout out to them. 
and uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching this film as much as we enjoyed making it. So the superhero, superhero, <laughs> so the superhero people. Uh, my favorite comic book. I haven't read them all yet, so it's kind of not fair to judge now, is it? Um, Superhero-wise, I've always been um, Batman fan and Iron Man. And when I was actually able to work with the legendary Bob Layton um, on Iron Man The End, which was you know, a milestone for me, which was huge. So that was cool. Um, and But my favorite character, if it's anything else, is Mr. Freeze. Because he's a bad, cold man. I'm going to get real indie on you for a minute. One of my favorite comic book characters of all time is Anne from The Replacement God. Because she never gives up trying to escape her life of servitude, and she inspires our hero, Newt, to do the same. Uh, probably my favorite comic book series um, from way back when I was a kid is Kazar. I uh, collect those and um, all the different incarnations. I know that makes me sound like a geek, but come on, I'm an actor. What can you do? My favorite superhero is... From Marvel, it's got to be Thor. And from DC, the Green Lantern. Because Thor is the only person who can carry a cinder block on a stick and make it look cool. And Green Lantern, with that ring, you can do whatever you can imagine. My favorite comic book is obviously Batman. Uh, my favorite comic book character is definitely Harley Quinn, and I liked her before Suicide Squad. I like both versions. I just think she's very cute, she's mischievous, and just a lot of fun. I, uh, I can't really narrow it to one comic book character that's my favorite, so I'll cheat a little bit and say Batman, Nightwing, and Green Lantern. My favorite comic book would have to be Priest. Granted, before the film came out, it was... Awesome. I've been reading the Serenity graphic novels. Yep. Total brown coat. One of the first characters I saw was Superman. I love his strength, his bright red cape and boots. I love red and blue anyway, so that stuck with me through my adulthood and loving Superman. So my favorite uh, character would be Spider Man. Ow! Now, because this is a film about comic books, Austin has asked us to pick out our favorite comic book character and explain why. And all I have to say to that is, one, you want me to pick out one character. My God, man, I thought you knew me. You know, I gave it a little thought. And if I had to pick out one character, they'd probably be from Zorgon. Yeah, I'm getting my Zorgon. Zorgon? Zorgon. My <laughs> Star Trek. All right, take it back, still rolling. Shut up, Jason. How is that my fault? It, it's your fault. God, it's, it's your you. script. God. <laughs> Zorgon. Zorgon. Oh, no. It's my new oh. online name. <laughs> I love Deadpool. The movie just came out. It's awesome. Ryan Reynolds was the man. But the problem is, you don't get one. You don't get two. No. Okay, guys, let's hold it just a second here. Uh, stand just a little bit behind him there. Um, you can, you can sort of be present, but don't overdo it, you know? It's okay to loom, but don't actually mock him. Got it, X-Men's Wolverine Origins. Yeah, why don't you guys have like any money? Really? Do you Do, see this? Do, do you second? see this? Yeah, do you I, know how much this costs, yeah, bro? I see the shame buying any of my shit. <laughs> That's what I'm okay. seeing. Okay, but if I'm and spending I $200 Here's the thing, when you spend $200 on that and then $50 to get in, you better have 10 bucks to buy something for me, otherwise, you gotta go. <laughs> Alright, well, I think we should take this outside. Oh, I think we should. Alright. I think it's fair to you're in a You guys had business when he well, talked about not having money? Why you gotta bring that into it? Why you gotta do that something? What was up? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna snap you in the face. <laughs> and keep it going, still dancing. And cut. <laughs> <laughs>